Now that you're familiar with the WordPress editor, it's just about time for you to start writing your first blog post. And your first blog post is going to be a response post. That's the post length that's 1,000 to 1,200 words, and it's going to take you about two hours. Now don't panic, you are going to be able to write that long of a blog post in two hours. Um, so if you're worried about that, it's gonna be okay. We have a great process. So just trust yourself and trust the process, and let's get going. So the first 30 minutes of that two hour block is critical. In this 30 minutes, you have four things that you have to do. The first thing is research, and that's kind of the foundation of these four things. You're going to do your research so that you can write your TF sentence. You're going to do your research so you can write your answer target, the first draft anyway, and then you're going to do the research so that you can find your subheadings. Now, I barely want your fingers to touch the keyboard other than typing in questions um, anything like that's okay, but I don't want you to really start writing your article yet. You just need to focus on research. Now here's how I would go about that. When I'm writing an article, I look at my title and I look at what the searcher intent is. And if I want to learn more about that, I'm probably going to go watch a YouTube video. I'm going to go look on some forums where people have had actual experience with the question that I'm trying to answer. Um, there's a couple other ways I could make a phone call uh, to someone who's a professional in the topic. Do the research in a way that's going to be more valuable than just finding somebody else's article and regurgitating in your article what they wrote. So go do some good research and that's going to give you the foundation. It's going to give you that information that's going to allow you to write your answer target, your tee up sentence, and your subheadings. Now I usually identify my subheadings pretty early on during the research process because I want to have three to four main topics under the title that I'm writing so that as I do my research I can type a few notes under each subheading. Now that's the only reason you should be touching the keyboard and doing any typing in the WordPress editor. Um, you should not be writing your blog post, but it's totally okay to be typing a few notes into the editor as you go. Once you have those notes ready, it's going to allow you to just kill the rest of the post. You're going to get through it so fast because you're gonna have your subheadings. You're gonna need probably 200 to 300 words per subheading. You'll have your notes or your bullet points under each subheading. And then you're really just going to expand on each one of those bullet points. So rather than writing one 1200 word article, you're really writing like four two to 300 word articles, which is really, really easy. So that's how I would break down my research. Now, after you have your subheadings identified and you've written a few notes, jump in and do your answer target. Uh, remember to follow the post recipe, what it says about answer targets. You really, really want to follow those guidelines. Um, this is kind of your first draft for your answer target, so it doesn't have to be perfect yet. We're gonna come back to it, but just do your best and then write your tee up sentence. Um, the tee up sentence, as you know, is supposed to give the reader confidence in you as someone who knows what they're talking about. All right, that's your first 30 minutes. Set a timer for yourself. Uh, maybe set it for 23 minutes to do the research to find subheadings and do notes. Set it for the next five minutes to do your answer targets, first draft, and then just the last few minutes to write your tee up sentence. And then after that, you're going to be ready to actually start writing your post.